Okay, so let's have this example. So for example, we have this uh, plate carrying a tensile force of 100 kilo newtons. Its uh, total length is 10 meters. We have a constant thickness of uh, 20 mm all throughout the uh, length. But we have a varying wind. So let's say uh, the wind on the left edge to 40 millimeters, it increases to 120 millimeters on the right end. Okay, for example, we are to compete for the deformation. Deformation is called the applied force, the length divided by the area times the modulus of uh, elasticity. Since we have a varying wind, we are to apply or we are to use calculus. So this is the integral from zero to okay, the length of the okay, the length of the plane. So let us uh, first uh, determine which one is variable, which one is constant in our uh, formula. So we have constants, okay, constant value of the load P, 100 kN, and we have a constant modulus of elasticity. So these are the constants. Okay, the deformation will be along the length, so let's say our L will be a okay, deformation along the length, a length that is dx. Uh, we have to consider a differential strain. Let's say this is okay, dx, okay, along with the direction of the applied uh, force. So let's say this is dx will be our uh, L. Then obviously we have a varying wind, so which means our area is also a variable. So let's say our area will be the differential. Area. So this will be our let's say variables. So let's say this is our differential strip at the x. And we are placing this strip, let's say, at a distance x from the left end. So let's say this is the line of action of the applied force 100 kN. newtons. And we are assuming that this height, and we are dividing the height into I say this is y and a y. Alright, so let us consider the cross section on this portion. The cross section of this uh, plate, okay, we have a thickness equal to okay, 20 mm. So let's say this is the line of action or point of action of the applied force 100 kN. We divide the height into okay, 2. Since let's say this is, we have a Y. So the total height will be. The total height of our area will be equal to 2 times a y. What will be the equivalent of the differential area? So differential area is equal to 2y times, this is 2y times 20. Our differential area is equal to 40 times y. But as you can see, we have the applied force is a horizontal is along x. The deformation will be along uh, x. So we need to express the value of y in terms of uh, x. So let us look for triangles. So if we are to extend this line, okay, we know this dimension, this is 40 mm. So which means this is 20. Okay, this is also 20 millimeters. This is 120 mm. So 120 divided by 2 is 60. 60 minus 20, this is, okay, we have a height of 40 mm. If this is initially y, okay, this height, okay, let's say this height, if this is y minus, we have y minus 20. Okay, if we have to separate these two triangles, okay, we have these two triangles, we have the height on the right end, 40 mm. This is y minus 20, okay, that distance from the left end is at a distance of, okay, at a distance of uh, x. We know the total length of the plane that is equal to, okay, we have 10 meters. So let us express the value of y uh, in terms of x using this similar triangles. So we have that as y minus 20 is 2x is equal to uh, 40 is 2. 40 is to uh, 10. We have now the equivalent of y is 40 over 10 is 4 times x. We transpose the negative 20 on the other side. That will be plus 20. That will be the equivalent of y in terms of y uh, x. So we have now the equivalent of the differential area is equal to 40 y. This is the same as 40. The equivalent of y is equal to 
uh, 4x plus 20. Okay, we have the equivalent of the differential area as 40 times 4, 160 of x plus 40 times 20 is going to do 800. Okay, our unit for this one will be square millimeters. So it's equivalent of the differential area. Okay, this is our differential uh, area in terms of uh, x. So I think we have now the equivalent of all elements of the formula. So let us do the substitution. So you have delta is for the integral from 0 to L of PL over AE, or is the same as the integral from 0 to L of the applied force. Okay, our L will be, uh, that is dx, area is variable, so this is differential area times the modulus of elasticity. Okay, we are now to do the substitution. We have delta is equal to the integral from 0 to, okay, the length of the plate is 10 uh, meters. So let's have the values. It was equivalent of the applied force P. We have 100 kilonewtons, or let's say 100,000 newtons. Multiplied by the length, or let's dx. Our area, or the differential area, is equal to 160 of x plus 800. Our unit for this one is the square millimeters. Let us express the unit of 200 gigapascal uh, with a unit of newton mm, uh, newtons per square millimeter. So this is the megapascals. So megapascals, that is the same as 200,000 newtons per square millimeters. So if you are to uh, do unit analysis, canceling newtons, canceling uh, square mm. By the way, how do we integrate this one? Okay, the integral of 1 over u uh, du is equal to, uh, that is the ln of uh, u. So for this case, uh, the equivalent of our u will be equal to uh, 160 of x plus 800. So we have du is now equal to derivative of 160 of x, that is 160 dx. Derivative of 800 is equal to this uh, 0, since there is a constant. So we'll be having 1 over divided by 160 of du is equal to uh, dx. We have a neutralizing factor of 160. So we are now to perform the integration. Right, so we have now delta. Right, we may factor out or bring out the constants. That is 100,000 divided by 200,000 is the same as one half. Okay, then multiplied by okay, our neutralizing factor that is one over one hundred and sixty. Then this is the ln of one hundred sixty of x plus eight hundred to be evaluated from zero to ten uh, meters. Okay, we are now to okay, evaluate. This is now delta divided by 1 over 2 times uh, 160 is 320 this is multiplied by okay, multiplied by we have this is the ln of 160 times okay, upper limit is 10 plus 800 okay, minus that is the ln of 100 okay, 160 times 0 plus 800. Right, let us compute for the value. We have now delta. Right, so this is 1 over 320. This right, is multiplied by ln. ln of 160 times 10 plus 800. Right, minus the ln of 160 or it's the same as 0 so the remaining term for this one is the same as ln of 800 so ln of 800 so we have that value as I think that this is 10 meters we have this value as 3.433 times 10 raised to negative 3 meter so modifying this one by 1000 millimeters is to 1 meter Let's have the deformation. This is basically elongation since we have tensile force. It is equal to 3. I'm going to 1000. This is equal to 
433 millimeters. So this will be the deformation of the uh, plane with a varying cross-sectional area. And this will be our solution.